Tesla, the automaker looking into a fire in Shanghai involving one of its cars, also has a product announcement coming out uh, after the close today. Maybe we'll see robot taxis as well as filing a lawsuit against short sellers in California. Mark Lehman, JMP Securities President, joins us from Chicago. Mark, what are you paying to, attention to when it comes from Tesla? Well, you're going to pay attention to all those things you mentioned, and most importantly, you're going to pay attention to demand and earnings, and that's probably the most important thing. But they have no shortage of things that everybody uh, is going to look at, and today's an example with their event, which I think will be uh, a muted reaction for the stock. We should be looking at what they're going to sell in terms of cars and what's going to happen with the earnings. And also we have this amazing video that shows us basically this Tesla in Shanghai literally lighting on fire, which brings us in some ways to the battery. Uh, there's a war on Twitter between uh, Tesla and the Pan and Panasonic, which supplies the batteries uh, for Tesla, talking about how they're slow, and that's why maybe Tesla won't be able to keep up uh, with its production. What do you make of that? Well, I think Twitter wars, as we've seen with politics and, and Tesla shorts, is probably a, a place to avoid um, actual uh, conclusions. That being said, this is a pretty important time for Tesla. They had, um, as you know, um, pretty much scrapped their demand uh, numbers for calendar 2019. Um, we talked about a month ago when I was on the show about the fact that the delivery time for the high-end low uh, model is less than two weeks. That's not what is usual for Tesla. There's plenty of fighting back and forth with the shorts, and I think those things are just noise. And the most important noise is really what are the earnings and what's the demand picture. And that one we're going to see pretty soon. Yeah, exactly. And that stock down about 28% since December. We do have earnings. Uh, is the bad news or the rough news baked in, or do you think that there could be more downside once they release their numbers? I, I think the bad news is the, is baked in for now, but the really bad news is probably not baked in. And the really bad news would be a continuous slowing of demand. You'd see, um, again, that supply-demand imbalance carry through the rest of the year. I think you got, a, obviously, an issue about capital, and there's a, a lot of discussion about how much capital they have and how much capital they need. And that will be the new bad news. If, if, if the sales are kind of in line with the diminished expectations that we've already talked about, the stock's probably fine here. If that's not the case, if there's more slowing and their high hopes are on the autonomous taxi, I'd get a little worried.